Hello everyone. In this video, we will be creating a two-page reflection report on completion of Java programs. I know that most of you have not worked on Java programs, but still we have to write some sort of reflection on the activities that are completed by us. So it's a very simple task. Uh, there should be a one page reflection. Part one is one page reflection on programming that we have written. And part two is all about a literature review that's regarding uh, Lambda expressions uh, in Java. Okay, Java Lambda functions. Okay, so this is a literature review that you can directly write from uh, uh, searching internet. Here, the first part uh, is a typical one that I'm explaining here. First thing is, the question that was asked is how easy or difficult was it to understand program that were presented see for this one uh, it's an online course that is given where several concepts that are related to the polymorphism lists arrays and usage of functions in java is taught so by learning these concepts by learning these concepts it is very easy for any person to understand uh, how to program the given questions and uh, the, as a part of uh, weekly course work, there are several samples that are given. There are several practical labs that are completed in which uh, a similar kind of uh, programs were asked to write, complete and uh, uh, implement and test. Okay, so those programs were executed and tested. So from those uh, concepts that are covered and samples that are executed, it is easy. It will become definitely easy for a programmer to create a program that was asked. So. Uh, for this question, the answer should be easy and uh, uh, you are supposed to say that it, it was very easy to program and uh, the reason you should quote is because of uh, learnings that are uh, taken from the concepts that are covered and uh, sample labs and uh, practical labs, uh, samples that are provided. These are some of the reasons why uh, those topics were easily understood and covered. Okay, so you, because of uh, such examples and labs, maybe like the programs that are given were become easy to implement and execute. Next one, were you able to find relevant information that you need to fully understand the programs and execute the tasks? So same same concept and so like you see, uh, so answer will be very similar, but we will be writing in relevant to the question that is asked. See, the relevant information that we find, where we can find it will be find from the a notes that is given for a weekly course and uh, several activities that are provided, example lamps that are given and uh, sample programs that are provided. These all consist of information related to the uh, uh, question that was asked, a program that was asked to implement. Okay, so for example, if we are using um, an arrays, the array related examples will be given in the list. So by making use of those examples and practicing them and understanding the process, it is possible for we to for us to execute the task okay so same thing we have to mention in our own way in our own words next one how do you obtain the knowledge that is necessary to write and compile the program again um, it looks very similar it's the same same expression has to be made again see how we obtain knowledge how we obtain knowledge in the during the process so information will be found from weekly activities by continuously executing those the information that is available practicing them it is possible to create knowledge okay so first one is because of uh, all the information that is available uh, by learning them it may become easy to execute it the information is found where we will be finding the information again uh, the concepts that are covered weekly coursework weekly materials labs programs they are the sources of information that is how we mention it here. Again, the knowledge will be created from by learning the material that is provided and by practicing the activities and executing similar programs. So for each question, the uh, solution is coming from the same area, but how we write makes it different. Okay, so next one is, uh, do the programs effectively apply the concepts learned in the program? Yes. See, uh, relevant to the problems that are given, several examples were given in the coursework and uh, they are successfully executed as a part of completing them. So, the concepts are clearly applied before the executory tasks are fixed. Okay. So, what kind of issues usually we come across when we executing some programming tasks? So, mostly runtime errors, compilation errors, 
So you can speak about them. See, compilation errors is frequently occurring while executing the program. Like that, you can mention any uh, two randomly, any two out of all these three concepts, you can mention them. Okay. So you can write, you can also uh, write a confusion among uh, choosing the concepts also you can write. Okay. So all these four, five sections should be completed in one page. And uh, the next one is you are supposed to uh, conduct literature review on using Lambda expressions in Java. Okay. So this is what you can directly find from internet. So complete it as per the requirement. Thank you.